Hello guys, well now we're gonna do problem 20.8 which is this one right here and the question is asking to find the efficiency of this engine and I guess it's um this is a three process system from A to B, from B to C and C to A so to find the efficiency we're gonna use this formula work divided by the heat to find the work, we're gonna use this other formula right here, the total work, and we divide it into the three processes. To find the heat, we're gonna use this formula. We have the moles given in the problem and the change in temperature. The only thing that we need to find is the heat capacity. In the first process, we're gonna use this formula right here, and we need to find the pressure and this volume right here. To find the volume, we're gonna use this relationship between these two processes. We solve for volume of B, and we plug in the given values and the temperature that we have, and we get that the volume part B is 0.12 meter cube. And we're gonna use that volume to find the pressure. We're gonna use the equation PV equals NRT. We solve for the pressure plug in the numbers and we get a pressure of 1.87 times 10 to the fifth Pascal. Once we plug in the numbers into the equation, we get an answer of 1.496 times 10 to the four joules. That's the work done from A to B. From B to C, since it's constant value, the work done is zero. From C to A, we're gonna use this formula right here. The only thing unknown is the pressure in part C. So we're gonna use, again, PB equals NRT. We solve for the pressure in part C, and we use the volume for part C, which is given in the problem. We plug in the numbers and we get the pressure is 8.26 times 10 to the four Pascal. Everything else, everything else we already have. We plug in the numbers and we get an answer of negative 9.87 times 10 to the third joules. The work total would be the sum of all the process. We plug in the numbers that we found and we get an answer of 5.09 times 10 to the third joules. And now we're gonna find the heat. QH. We have to use this formula right here, but first we need to find the heat capacity and we're going to use this formula to find that. We already have all the values. We get an answer of 22.17. We already have the moles. And we have the change in temperature so we can start plugging numbers to find the heat. So the heat would be 39,907 joules. Based on this, we can finally plug this in into the equation to find the efficiency of the engine. We have the work total and we have the heat. So we do a division and we get that the engine has an efficiency of 0.13 or 13%, which we can see that is a very, very low number. So this engine is not very efficient. It's even lower than what our cars and trucks do.